Hi, I'm Danielle Hartman. Welcome to another episode of Poured in PA. Breweries are constantly giving back to their communities. Pizza Boy Brewing Company in Enola is no exception. Their latest collaborative brew brings together veterans for a beer with a cause. Like for your title. Owner, can you put like all of it? Like owner slash brewer slash pizza maker slash line cook slash uh, prep guy slash put it all in there. Just like four rows, and then it goes to the next screen. It's just all every fucking job I have. It's brutal. So today we're brewing Iron Soldiers. Just a normal ale, good like everyday drinking beer. And the initiative and the whole uh, thought and planning behind this beer was uh, to give back to our military. The two main recipients of what we're gonna brew and the money that we're gonna make, we're gonna be donating to the National Guard of PA and then also to the 22 a day. We employ veterans here and we are friendly with a lot of them, you know? They're, they're our friends, they're our family, they're around us all the time and the 22 a day is the 22 people a day that take their lives. We're hoping to raise about $5,000 with this brew. We're gonna can most of it and then we're going to keg a bunch of it and it's gonna go out to uh, bars. Really any retail place that wants it will be able to get it and uh, we'll be able to sell it and help our cause a little bit. 100% of the proceeds, so not profits, but proceeds, we're, we're gonna eat the cost of all of it and all of the money that we make from this beer is gonna go back to, to help the PA National Guardsmen and to the 22 a day. The hops that we're using are the Yakima Chief Hops Veteran Blend. So all of those hops, when you purchase those hops, that money also goes back to veteran organizations. One of our kitchen guys who's retired, 30 years military, so we have a lot of friends that are working at the Gap, PA National Guardsmen. His son is also a National Guardsman, so uh, we're hoping that all of those guys stop by today. Grab some pizza, grab some breakfast, grab a couple beers on us, and we, because we'd like to say thank you. I started working for Al back in 2013, part-time, you know, brewing beer, labeling, uh, canning, bottling, et cetera, et cetera. So we always had a plan that when I retired from the Army that I would work here full-time. Yeah, the rest is kind of history. Uh, we're gonna brew this beer and we are gonna donate all that money back to, to the vets. It's very important to him. Al's father was in the military as well. So that's very, very important to him. He treats me very well. Uh, treats everybody very well, as you all know. I have a personal parking spot out front, you know, with, with my name on it. We got Swingle Beer. We have Swing Wings, you know, that we run through the oven and many other great things. I'm in an organization that's associated with the PA Army National Guard called Engus, and they're going to be one of the beneficiaries of, of the profits, the proceeds from the, the charity brew. So I decided to help out, and I've known Al for a pretty long time, and, and Swingle, because he's a, a good friend of mine from, we served together in the PA Guard, so that was a great project. The Pennsylvania National Guard Association is an organization that benefits Pennsylvania Guardsmen, both Air National Guard and Army National Guard. They have a, a 501c3 organization called the Foundation that provides grants to soldiers that are in need, and that's where the pro, some of the proceeds from the, the charity brew are gonna go and that's gonna benefit Pennsylvania uh, Air National Guard and Army National Guard soldiers. So, great, great, great reason. I've been with Al for about three years. Kind of my corporate life pushed me out. What I do here is I work at the bar, the front of the house. Kind of, when you work here, you do everything. So, I'm more of the front house. I think you talk to Ed. Ed works in back in the kitchen. So, it's great, really. <laughs> I mean, I grew up in the area. There's a lot more vets in the area. War College, the Navy base, I think a lot of vets will go to that. Civilian job would be the Navy base, and they, they kind of gravitate to this area. We all did time in the military, and it's just like, it doesn't matter what branch you're in, we're all brothers and sisters together, so that's the way we look at it. We all support one another, love one another. When you get out of the military, you don't really miss a lot of things, but the camaraderie, the ability to give each other crap day in and day out, and just, you give it right back and you just have fun with it, you roll with it. 
Al is a good guy. He really is. He 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 does so much for not just veterans, for the whole community. He is always giving to charity, supporting, doing events and stuff like that. And if you need anything, you, you know, you give him a call. It's he wouldn't even hesitate. Just he drop everything on a dime to help you out. So great guy, really. Him and his whole family. The whole the whole business here is awesome. Everybody that works here is awesome. With it being a military town up the road and up near Fortin Town Gap, uh, he does have a lot of soldiers. You have a lot of the DLA facilities down here. You have Carlisle. So there are a lot of soldiers in this area. So I think it's great that he's uh, taking the time, the energy, the effort, some of his money and, and his company's time to benefit us. So it's awesome. Uh, it actually means a, a lot to me. So 30 years in the military, uh, it's what I know, what I did. It's, it's actually hard to let go. We'd like to say thank you for everything that they do, you know, by doing what we do, making, making some beer, making some pizza, and then getting everybody happy for a day. Check out Pizza Boy and Owls of Hamden for more info on the beer's release. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>